So, I don't want to believe that's how this man was because, for one, he seems like a flight risk. Uh, Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> you can't fly like that, man. You, you need an eval. And two, it's just because he seemed more charismatic in the interviews that I've seen. <clears throat> It was very disheartening seeing him in this kind of light. They didn't make him so much as like this American icon, this legend uh, uh, of history. You know, they, I mean, this movie, besides it making me feel very sympathetic and pathetic, I felt sorry for the guy, um, but it didn't make me feel very uplifting. Like, this guy's an American hero, you know? I'm no, it definitely I, wasn't that. I wasn't, I didn't feel sorry for him, but it definitely was not. Right. You know, it didn't even he it, we didn't, it didn't even like portray like what he felt about his accomplishment. This right. is like another day. No, and and you know what that that's a thing too. So uh, the towards the ending of the movie when he had the sit down talk with his sons up to the point where he actually landed on the moon, when he did have that sit down talk with his sons, it was very the same thing because we just came back from another scene where he was having a, a interview conference with a bunch of reporters. And they were asking him uh, some, you know, personal questions where he was just like, uh, we've already calculated, uh, uh, we, we've on we're only aiming for 100% completion of this mission. And he says the same responses in the same demeanor to his actual family. He's, right. he's treating what his wife is having him do, uh, saying his last goodbyes to his own family, um, the same way as an interview. This is the way he's, he's handling emotions. himself. He's just going through the motions at this point. Um, his personality was totally dead, um, and all I can say is this guy is super depressed. He's done. You know, he's so disattached. Uh, his his oldest son pretty much just gave him a handshake and just walked off and went to sleep back to his room. Um, that, to me, was like, yeah, you know what? You're a shit father. Um, you're never around, so good luck on your mission, you know? <laughs> uh, that, that was like, that. that to me is how I read that whole scene. Um, and then, I mean, I, I can, I can, you I can know what I'm saying though? That. Yeah, I yeah. can get you with that. When, it, man, if, I don't know, I, I can't, I can't, I can't relate to that. To me, it's like, this is your son, you have your two sons, this is your legacy. You're not going to give him a hug, you're not going to say, I love you, son, you know? How do you, nothing? Nothing. Because he doesn't know them. He hasn't been around long enough to watch them grow and develop. Yeah, once his daughter died, he doesn't seem to give a shit about none of his, none of his family. None, none of his, his wife. Family. Yeah. Not his other two sons. Nothing. No. I'm like, wow. Yeah, and, and I mean, it, it went to show, like, in the movie how busy he was. There, there was a brief moment where he did spend a little bit of time away playing and interacting with his sons and his, like, uh, wife. Sure. But, I mean, I felt like... He was on his meds on that day. Yeah, though. exactly. I didn't really buy it. It was so strange to see him happy and playing around because I thought he was gonna get mad and right. like sit down somewhere that's what I thought yeah, was gonna I, happen like like bipolar or something right, right? cause they put yeah. the he's he's you know doing his calculations which I didn't know that don't interrupt me when I'm working <laughs> right yeah uh, that's what I was expecting yeah. that's how that's the tone that this movie set they set that for us so, so hey I mean up until the point where they actually landed on the moon when he stepped off and he did his little spiel, one step uh, for man, one giant leap for mankind, um, and then it was just very monotone, you know, just like, here's the moon and shit. And I'm, the, the first thing going through my head when I saw that was like, great, you got to the desert, and what did it cost you? It cost you all this time with your family, all, all, all these all, all this missed time that, that you got to just, just to be here, and what are you taking back from it? Nothing. What I got from that moment was that he did not write that whatever that whoever wrote that didn't get credit for it because what they showed me was a guy who just was not connected to the world to reality at yeah. all yeah so you're gonna tell me when he gets on the moon he just got this profound personality now absolutely not someone else wrote that and well guess we just won't know who yeah, uh, I, I, is that what you took from it because i mean absolutely yes he uh -huh. has had Nothing but blah moments, blah stares. Right. He's not interacting with anyone. He never really jokes. So where's this profound uh, terminology coming from? Nowhere. That didn't... Someone asked him, what are you going to say when you get to the moon? He didn't have an answer. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. So now yeah. he just says asked some him that. profound it's... thing. Come yeah. on, man. Right. This no. Is... Uh, he didn't write that. That he was scripted that for sure. That was scripted. Um, 
From the well, movie. He might have, but right. from the movie, yeah. you can't get me to believe he, he made that up on the fly. No, and then, I mean, his demeanor, I mean, and I'm pretty sure they probably made this up, but if they didn't, okay, whatever, but um, he had a little bracelet that belonged to his uh, daughter that passed away, and he, like, threw it into this uh, uh, crevice in the moon. Right. Um, so, kind Trainer. of like, yeah, um, this is his way of saying goodbye, you know, like, I, I made it. But I mean, it's I, so hard to say goodbye. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't feel anything like that though. I, I at that point I was so disconnected with him and the movie. I just wanted it to be over, honestly. Um, okay, we got there. Can we go home now? Like, there's even nothing the, here. Even the ending um, was bad. One of the best moments of this movie for me was um, the protesters that were protesting, a bunch of hippies, you know, <laughs> and uh, you got this guy and he's singing, um, Whitey in Space, Whitey something in like space. that, we're, we're over here, we, we ain't got, you know, anything, uh, no, no food, no, food, no, water. no water, but Whitey's, but Whitey's in space. on the moon, <laughs> but Whitey's in space, Whitey's on the moon, and I'm just like, right. wow, and then, I mean, he really brought it down, and then from that point on, I'm like, geez, billions of dollars back in those days? Ooh, Offer someone just to record this in the studio. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Let me bankrupt you. I really don't think we win. I'm going to be honest. I don't think we went to the moon. I mean, no one else has, has gone. Uh, we haven't been back since. So I just don't think we went. All those moon rocks, just to lively up the conversation, all those moon rocks have been found to be fake, that, that you had an origin on Earth. Uh, they were um, petrified wood. All this stuff, all the rocks they gave to all these other nations as gifts, fake. They yeah. found it out. They did the test. They're not from the goddamn moon. Okay? So, I don't believe it anyway. And he gave me this whack-ass story <laughs> <laughs> that I have to sit through. Yeah. I'm like, oh, God. Come on. Say something. Yeah. And then when it's white, so he's in quarantine, yeah. which Ooh. someone... Someone let him in the room without any, like, has mask or what's it called? The, uh... Um. Yeah, hazmat. Hazmat yeah. or whatever. Yeah. They don't have any suit on. They're just like, there's a room. Right. Like, oh, you, you're infected. You're infected. You're not leaving either. Right. But let's just ignore that. Yeah. His wife goes to see him, and they're behind this glass wall, mm -hmm. and they're looking, and they're just... Stare down. Who's going to blink first? And and, I'm like, and at that what point, is wrong with them? It reminded me of The Force Awakens when they captured Poe, and then uh, Poe was like, Okay, do you say something or do I say something first or something? <laughs> oh, I'm like, what? There's yeah. no way this movie reminds you of Force Awakens. Okay, I got it. Just you. that. Just that. It was like, who's going to say something? And they don't say shit. To me, it just seemed like they weren't in love with each other. Absolutely not. But then she seemed so happy to go see him. But then when she got there, she didn't say nothing. You know, there's a lot of messed up relationships nowadays that people are just like going through the motions. But if you're going to be so <laughs> hasty to go see a person, why act like you don't give a shit that, they, that they're... Cause Safe. she she had to know that she that he was okay so that she could kill him herself. Oh well, he's still alive. So is he still alive? I think he's still alive. Uh, I think he's still alive. Or maybe just maybe died a few. Yeah, yeah, he years did. ago. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So anyway, it's just not the kind of movie that I can relate to. Now we <sighs> did say that if you like Blade Runner, this might be for you. Right. It's a very long and drawn out, um, uh, not a lot of details. Not a lot of details. Um, it's something that we're always saying. It's just like, uh, you know what? If, if you're going to tell me a story, tell me a story. Show me. Show me. Narrate to me. I, do I don't want to reach out and, and be reaching all over. the. Oh, he's depressed. Oh, he's sad. Oh, he's really stressed. I don't know. Well, what are you doing with your face right now? Yeah, and if he's a weird dude, then let's not make a movie about him, okay? Yeah. Let's just, because I, I don't know if I said this earlier, but you would get more out of a documentary than you would out of this movie. Yeah. This movie is the worst movie of the year for me, and I picked it. I was thought I was going to see something, you know, awesome. Yeah. Like, Gravity wasn't that great, but you saw some awesome stuff. Yeah. Eh, you didn't see nothing uh, awesome in this movie. Uh, they were like, if if this if that's how it actually went, they stuck right to it. There's no movie moments at all, to me. Yeah, I'm like, there's nothing like that's 
that I really care about. No. So, oh, we got thunder. Yeah. Um. All right, guys, we are back. I'm your boy DeAnthony. I'm my boy Don here, Yo. and we're Break Room Blitz. And we just want to jump into this conversation. Oh, but before we do, uh, there are some rules on the channel, okay? If we make you smile or laugh, go ahead and hit that like button. If we make you think or disagree, go ahead and, uh, go ahead and uh, comment, and we'll let you know why you're wrong. And because we're always right. Uh, if you didn't know that, Most then of the time. I'm just want to say it now. All the time. Okay. Uh, and then, three, if you want to, you know, see our beautiful face every week, hit that subscription button with the notification bell, and poof! Bam! We'll be here, all right? Here Giving go. you the, the lowdown of what we Run thought down. about these movies. That's right. All right, so, you know, we went to go see First Man. I'm going to just be honest. I feel bad for picking the movie because we had two other choices, I believe. Yeah, I feel like any other movie we would have gone to go see would have been a little bit more uplifting. You know, I just, I like sci-fi movies. I thought it was going to be something like that. Of course. Um, I didn't think it was going to be like... Uh, artsy fartsy on right. me. Yeah, it was just. Uh, but w it was hard to predict from the trailers that we saw too. Um, right, I thought we'd see some awesome stuff. Right, exactly. And but some of it was. I mean, I, I say. And some of it was when they when they're in the ship, and they're like, that was kind of cool. Yeah. I'm like, man, that must be some uh, yeah. bomb ass gyroscope on that camera because the camera was still. And yeah. Like, was like that. I was like, yeah. dang. Uh, the beginning was cool when he when he first landed. The beginning was really cool. I would have um, wanted to know like where are we at? Like what's happening? He's just in the ship. Yeah. I'm like he's just in the ship. Okay. Yeah. Are we are we already here? We going to the moon now? Or why is only one person? We can get there. It was a little weird. Yeah. Um. But so what is what is the the before we smash it? What are the critics saying about okay. it? All right. So uh, IMDb is giving it a seven point three out of ten. We got a Metacritic score of 85. We've got Rotten Tomatoes scoring this thing. Critics, 88%. Audience score, 66%. Now, we did a uh, spoiler-free discussion about it. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. Okay? Right. Um, but we're going to get into it. But what'd you give it? I gave it a 2 out of 5 stars. All two right. stars out of 5. This guy was not having it at all. I gave it a 1 out of five stars just because for it to be a, such a pivotal moment in history now now you could give it a zero stars if you wanted to we are not restricted <laughs> to the status quo of having to give it one. ratings okay? um no it's not a zero it's not a zero but it's definitely the worst movie i've seen this year because they did make a movie <laughs> what <laughs> it's not because of that it's just there were some cool scenes right it's just... Well, for one, I'm just be honest. I don't believe we went to the moon. And that could be... You guys think I'm crazy or, or, or not. But there's a whole documentary that came out on it uh, on the History Channel. Not that the History Channel was all legit. Because yeah. you know, they do got AJ Aliens. Aliens is on there. <laughs> which is all bullshit. Aliens. But... Uh, and you might think it's not. But... <laughs> but anyway... Mm -hmm. um, I just don't really believe it. And then when, you know, they're presenting this to me, it's very artsy-fartsy, and it, it, everything is long, right. drawn out, long stares. It's very monotone. There, 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 oh, it, God. There are periods yes. of this movie that are just very, like, single tone, just, like, very, just, like, no, no, nothing going on, really. I Absolutely. Mean, and, and aside from them actually doing something, okay, of course, if you're going to shoot something in space, I don't expect there to be any sounds, but when you're on Earth and you're having a conversation with people uh, and you're not saying anything, you're just like, I'm going to go home now. Oh, okay, you you suck as a person, I got to say. All right, so I wanted to... I tried to give him a little slack because his daughter passed. Okay, so... Yeah. So they, they, when, And they do show us some, um, you know, something that they got going on with his daughter and his daughter being sick. Right, and you know he cried. Yeah, <laughs> I, I I thought that was really good drama right there. I did. I I mean, you know, I, I got little nieces, and I mean, sure. But yeah, I, as I, the I years the go guy. on, right, you would think you would be able to actually interact with people and not be a dick. He still has a son, and then he got another, a new son. Um, but that, then uh, again. Didn't... I didn't even know. Well, anyway, that's a whole another thing. Because I'm be honest, I fell asleep during the beginning part. There was nothing really going on, so I don't remember having you two sons. Much. 
There was no but, action in, in, in the making of having the sons, if that's what you're... <laughs> and that's my... That's another thing. Him and his wife, that chemistry... It, for Just the actors have no chemistry, for one. Okay, yeah, the actors... And I, I don't know if, if they wrote it that way, though. Because both these actors, I've seen them in really solid roles, but the chemistry between them was just not there. Well, right? I don't I don't believe and and ugh, damn it. I try to be politically correct for the channel, but if I had to guess, oh, let me just say this, the energy that she's putting off, yeah, is not a feminine one. So I don't really believe she really likes men in the first place. Now, I could be wrong. I really don't know. But that's just the energy. Are you saying that because of her haircut? She had like a really short haircut. Her haircut, the movies, the shows that she does. Right. It's not real feminine and she does smoke a lot and it's hard for me <laughs> yes golly but it's the 60s so okay yeah but it's, it's hard for me to believe those two people would ever be together let alone in in the movie right so but in the movie it's almost as if he doesn't even love his wife not at all like he don't even give a shit right he don't even be like hey honey hey give your kids on the cheek nothing nothing hey uh, uh, go to work then. Right. Yeah, none of that. Oh, I forgot something at work. Like, damn, you can't say, hey, how was your yeah. day? Nah. Thank you for, you know, cleaning the house. Nothing. Mm -hmm. So it was it was hard to, like, connect. And I really don't know if that's how uh, Armstrong was. Right. But the, the way that they portrayed him, uh, I I mean, I, I was losing faith in the guy. I lost faith in him, but and the only thing that his saving grace was that I, I feel pity for the guy because of all these traumatic experiences that he's been through. I mean, his job, for one, is, like, super stressful. Um, you know, they say, like, firefighters have the most stressful do job, a uh, police officer, but, I mean, like, his job, I mean, he's putting his life on the line, test piloting a lot of stuff, um, but I didn't feel like, you know, after a while, uh, his uh, demeanor... Um, towards his family, like, okay, this is the last time I'm going to see my family. Uh, it, th th that never changed. If anything, it got even worse. Uh, he, it seems like he got more of a colder person, more detached from everyone. Um, and right. uh, up to a certain point where I was just like, okay, this guy is completely <clears throat> dead. You know, I get that his passion for what his work is probably still there. His, his mind is on the mission, but him, his personality as a person... I mean, he's been through what I remember in one year, there were like four funerals for other pilots that had died. And then his daughter ended up dying. Uh, and then three other pilots in one day just, you know, died. So, I mean, we, it's hard to be attached to people when you know that, okay, uh, I better not make this guy a friend just because uh, I may not see him again. So I'm just going to keep on task and that that's going to be it. Oh, man. Um, huh. If that's what you got out of that, I hope no one else gets that and attaches that to their life. Because if you don't know if you have another day coming, you better appreciate the time that you do have. Right. Because you don't know if you're going to get another one. Yeah. And the fact that when... The fact that his wife had to tell him to say goodbye or be honest with your sons mm -hmm. about you not ever coming back or might not ever come back from the moon right. was very uh, disheartening to me. I'm like, you can't even say bye. You can't even say, like, son, I'm going to need you to be the man of the house now. Right. There's a chance that I might not be back. Well, you can't do nothing? You yeah. want to just pack up and go? Just pack up what and go. What kind of shit is that? She, I mean, she straight up had to tell him, and, and I felt for her at, at that point. Like, she became uh, the star actor for me. She's going through a lot more than he's going through. And, uh, because she's holding down the fort. Um, so the fact that she had to tell the man of the house to, hey, go talk to your sons, your legacy that you're leaving behind, and let them know that you're not going to see them again. Let them know that you still love them, because you're never around. And, uh, they, they don't know what you're going through. They don't know how much of an important moment of history they are living through. Uh, yeah, they don't care. Kids, don't, kids at that age don't care. They just care about their parents. They care about their parents being yeah. around. Right. What you do in your job is not cool until like teenage years. And, and it really showed because, I mean, one of the questions the kid had when they sat him down is, oh, so are you going to miss my swim meet? You know? It's like, how long is this going to take? You're going to be here back tomorrow or what? Right. Exactly. That's all they care about. They just want to see you and they live. Right. What you got going on in your life is not that important. Nice. So you want to, you know, interject. You want to jump into their world. Yeah. Ask them questions. Let them feel like they're, re that they're relevant to you. Yeah. 
You know, so, and that's the thing that I didn't like about the, the, the movie. I don't know if it's true, though. Like, there's no, we haven't fact-checked if this right. is how he really was. We didn't read his biography. 